two companies with different plans with the same goal, to receive a casino license in Pope County. And based off the Pope County Quorum Court's decision tonight, only one seems to have the cards their way. Thanks for joining us. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Roly Hoy. Teatry 11's Rebecca Brown attended the meeting tonight and has more on which one the county plans to back. Two companies facing off tonight in a high stakes game, both presenting to a closely divided Pope County Quorum Court on why they should be chosen to receive a casino license. Outlines the proposal that we intend uh, to offer to you and what we want to do in Pope County. And as you can see on, on this map, uh, the Pope County Casino, it will be a vital part of our regional growth strategy. On the agenda at the Pope County Courthouse, two multi-million dollar casino plans, Gulfside Casino Partnership or Cherokee Nation Entertainment. The Cherokee Nation already has the important letter of support they need to win the license after making a deal with Polk County Judge Ben Cross earlier this year. But Gulfside upped their ante last week and got a chance to present their plans tonight. It will include 70,000 square feet of gaming space, 1,500 state-of-the-art slot machines, 50 table games, a dedicated sports uh, betting area, as well as multiple live music and entertainment venues. But even with a hundred million more on the table, Goldside seemed to have the deck stacked against them. In 2020, Goldside promised 500 rooms, 900 by year five. Now it's 300, which is it. There's an old saying that we've all heard probably for all of our life, that actions speak louder than words. Lane Scott? Yes. Jordan Sowers? No. Bill Sparks? Yes. And at the end of the game, a resolution to support Gulfside failed seven votes to five. Five years of legal fighting appeared to leave the majority of the court reluctant to walk away from the deal they have with the Cherokee, leaving their leaders holding all the cards. We have spent $40 million in out-of-pocket cash to purchase 325 acres of land which will serve as a setting for Reg a Legends Resort and Casino. Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. Now, so far, only the Cherokee have submitted an application to the State Racing Commission. They will eventually take all the applications and score them to decide who gets the license. And we asked Gulfside if they still plan to apply without a support letter. They haven't returned our call. They have until Tuesday to apply.